Okay guys, so here we are. We're going to have a look. Oh look, there's me. <laughs> so what we're going to need, the tools. Well, we're going to need a big pot. And as you can see, I'm putting some stones in the bottom. We'll have a look at why I'm doing that uh, later on. Um, so yeah, somewhere quite deep, essentially. Um, we need some sort of compost or medium. I've got John Innes number one. Uh, compost there which is uh, pretty good to use and also we've got some perlite now if you can't get perlite you can use sand instead that's purely to uh, to fluff up your compost and make it a lot easier for um, the roots to get down um, right down into the bottom of the compost um, so yeah as I say sand sounds good the only thing is don't use lawn sand because lawn sand also has chemicals in there um, which essentially are there to kill weeds um, and moss and stuff like that and believe it or not hops is a type of weed so I really wouldn't recommend any kind of sand um, with additives in. Right let's have a look at that big pot. Okay so we have got a really deep pot here. Um, and I've got stones which are covering the holes in the bottom of the pot. These ones were pre-drilled, there you go, I'm pointing to them. Um, and they're quite big. Um, so they're going to let soil out, but they are going to let perlite out 100%. So I just put some big rocks. Um, what else is good? Uh, chimney, um, broken chimney slates, that kind of stuff. There's a little stone that I actually dug out of the ground. It looks like a bit of concrete. Fits nicely over there. Shum on, give me the thumbs up. Okay guys, so we've got our um, our compost, we've got our perlite, we've got a big pot. Hey, there I am. We've got to get the compost in there. Yep, good idea to roll up our sleeves because we're going to get dirty. So how are we going to open that? Well, luckily, I've got a knife in my back pocket. I've opened it and I'm getting the earth and I'm going to do the earth first. If you've got a really big dustbin that's empty or something, you theoretically could mix all your perlite and um, soil first and then put it into your pot. But I, I'm a bit lazy. Hey, look, I'm dropping it everywhere you can see. That's one of the reasons why a knife is not very good. But anyhow, so we're going to get it all sort of damped down we need to mix it up with a perlite and they said on the packet that you mix uh, one handful of perlite per um, one liter I think it was one liter of um, of your soil um, seems like quite a lot and the perlite itself is a type of rock it's a volcanic rock um, and it's basically really light it's unbelievably light stuff um, but yeah that's what we're using it for. You know, in, when you anywhere near a volcano, like the Rift Valley, is very fertile, and that's why it's got all these kind of volcanic rocks in there. Look at me, I'm making a complete hash of getting the perlite out of the bag. Um, I'm probably going to get more of it on the floor. But anyway, you chuck a bit in. That's how I did it. I didn't measure. Um, there we go, put it on the ground. Get your hands in there. We're going to give it a good old mix. Remember those stones at the bottom, we don't really want to dislodge those stones. Um, I could do this all in one hit, but I've only put roughly half the amount I need. Um, so I'm going to put some soil on top and mix the perlite in. But you want to get a nice sort of, um, a nice spotty kind of compost. Um, oh, am I going to put some more in? I'm probably going to put a second layer of earth in and then I'm going to mix it up once again. Let's have a look, see what it's like when it's finished. There we go. Should look something like that. And I don't know if you can see, but I've made it a, like a divot in the middle. <laughs> there we go. Got a bit of a, a thumbs up. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing you the line. The line that I'm showing you in the middle is very much lower than the line on the outside. Guess why? Because we're going to put our rhizome into that divot. And there she is. 
There's our Fuggles Rhizo. Look at it. Yep, yeah, Fuggle. There we go. We're going to put that in there. Takes a while to get the label off, I'm afraid. I do manage it eventually, but from this angle, can you see there's definitely a sort of furrow um, in the soil. Um, and I'm going to lay my hop rhizome into um, that furrow. Got to be a bit careful because if you look, there's a little nodule, and I'll, I'm going to bring it closer to the camera. There we go, I'm showing off. <laughs> Fuggle. There we go, nice one. Um, Oh, good to keep labelling. I forgot I'd done that, but really good. Especially if you've got multiple plants. Now, let's have a look at the... Um, oh, just out of, out of shot there. Um, but there's definitely a little white node that it's going to grow from. Um, you want that facing upwards, if you can. Um, oh, look at that idiot. He's got his arms in the way. It's just out of frame, unfortunately. But I'm making sure that my little shoot, my little nodule, my node, I believe the proper name is, is facing upwards. Um, it doesn't matter too much, to be honest. Um, but later on, um, you, don't want, you don't want to make your plant work too hard. You want to make it as easy as possible. And then, as you can see, I'm filling in. Um, because I have a furrow there, I'm filling in, and I'm just using um, the normal earth to do this. Um, if I had pre-mixed my earth and my perlite together, um, it would be uh, it would be slightly better. I'm not too concerned about it because there's plenty of perlite in there, um, so those roots are going to have a lot of room to grow. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. Look at that, I'm packing it down. That is one big pot. That's going to stay in there for at least a couple of years. I'm not going to have to dig that up again. Oh, when I do have to dig it up, the perlite is going to make it slightly easier to come out of the pot because um, they're so light. And hopefully some of them are going to be next to the side of the container. If I just bang the container on the floor, um, the whole lot is just going to pop out. It's going to be so easy to do. Um, I'll probably do it. Yeah, probably do it on video, we'll see. But I'm just trying to fill in the gaps and see, I have left a little bit of room at the top. If you want to kind of dome it up into like um, a rabbit hill in the middle, so we've created a furrow, but you can, and I have seen people um, make uh, an opposite sort of mound on top. Uh, I think I've done pretty well. I've covered all of the furrow hop. Hey, nice one, Jonna. Well done, boy. 